track wrestling year at the National High School Recruiting Showcase with 132 pound champion London Houston. Uh, dominant performance in a loaded weight class. What are you most pleased with with the way you performed here today? Um, I'm just happy. I haven't wrestled uh, freestyle since 2019, so uh, freestyle is just, you know, the style I love. So I'm just happy that I went out there, was aggressive all the way through, didn't let anybody score on me. Like, very proud of myself for that. It's, it's been such a disjointed year in terms of competition with various states, uh, you know, competition sort of as, as normal. And then you're from Washington. What have, what have opportunities been like close to home for you? Um, it's been really hard. They canceled like our whole freestyle Greco season. Um, didn't get to go to Fargo. Um, didn't get the chase after my third state title because they canceled it. Um, it's been really hard to adjust, really hard to get back to it. But here I am. <laughs> what does training look like for you in the last year? Um, so usually I go to work, go to practice. Go to work, go to practice. Like every day after work, I'm at practice. You know, pushing hard. Um, definitely difficult being like an athlete, full-time student. Um, I have a 30-hour a week job, but I've just made do. What's your job? Um, I'm a sales associate at uh, Nordstrom. Okay. Yeah. Uh, undecided on school. Yeah. You come here to the, the recruiting showcase. What are you hoping to show people here? And what do you think? I just want to show show? people I'm back. Yeah. You know, I got hurt um, at Freak Show. Um, I ended up having to pull out of the tournament. Um, I just wanted redemption from that. I wanted to prove who I am. You know, what what I how hard I work, my work ethic, um, everything. What has uh, the the process been like thus far in terms of recruiting? Um, I've had a lot of colleges reach out to me. I've had a couple visits, a few visits. Um, I'm still just trying to decide what's best for me, whether I want to stay close to home, um, you know, what, whether I'm going to go Division Three or I'm going to go Division Two or um, NAIAA. So, yeah, I just, it's a lot. <laughs> Such an interesting time now. I mean, you see programs popping up left and right. Yeah. and. And uh, you know you've got established programs. You got programs that are on the rise. What do you look for? Um, I'm looking for a team with a lot of diversity. A team that's going to work hard right beside me. Coaches that are going to support me. Like a program where I'm not just going to be a number. Like they're going to care about me. You know, and not just wrestling wise, just like personal life too. You know. You've you've dealt with some injuries here, and you've overcome yeah. those. What what has been? Uh, the, the challenges yeah. that uh, have been presented themselves here in the last uh, several months with those? Um, I had a bad elbow injury. Uh, that's the reason for Freak Show. I had, ended up having to pull out. Um, I recently just hurt my shoulder. Um, I don't know, uh, what tournament was it? It was a, an RMN event. Hurt my shoulder. I had to take like a week and a half off. Definitely like affected my training for this tournament. So I ended up only getting like two weeks of training for freestyle. Um, so it's definitely been hard, but I feel like I'm back, I'm stronger, ready to go. You mentioned you haven't wrestled freestyle since 2019. How Fargo, you, yeah, yeah, Fargo 2019. So we're coming up a um, year and a half, yeah. or more, almost two, coming up on two years. What have been the areas where you've made the biggest gains since Fargo 2019? Um, I think I've definitely gotten more aggressive. Um, not giving uh, my opponents a chance to even, you know, fight, say, leg lace, when I did a lot during this tournament. Um, just going from a shot right right into, you know, a turn. Not giving them a chance to even fight it or, like, think about it, which my coach, Sean Dolly and Jess Torres have helped me a lot with. What were you most eager to find out about yourself in this tournament? Um, I was just eager to see, like, like, you know, it's been so long since I've done freestyle. Um, I, it's this, the style I love the most out of all the styles. So it's definitely been like a struggle trying to say like, oh, am I still, can I still do it? Can I still, you know, tech, tech my way through brackets? Can I still do this, you know? But I just proved to myself today that I'm capable of anything. No matter the circumstances, I can do whatever I put my mind to. As I mentioned, you roll through this tournament, it, it looked like it wasn't much of a transition back into it, but uh, did it go pretty smoothly in your opinion, or were some, some it, things to work out a little bit? I think it went very smoothly. smoothly. Um, I definitely came out aggressive, um, good mindset, knowing that no matter whether I you know, got third or fourth or fifth, I was just you know, getting back to the style I love so much. Like I, It's been a year and a half, like just the thought of being able to wrestle freestyle Again, just that's all that I cared about. It wasn't about, oh, what college coaches are watching. Because I already know there's people looking at me already. It was just more about getting back out there, getting back to what I love. Is there stress with that? I yeah. mean, every match is kind of an audition, so to speak. <laughs> 
yeah, it's definitely a lot of stress, uh, especially like with me being a student, you know, having a job. It's been a really stressful. Um, I've just been still showing up every day, doing whatever I can. Um, just not, not letting myself, you know, I mean, I let myself rest, but I just knew I had to get after it. Like, if I wanted to be a national champ, if I wanted, you know, win Fargo, if I wanted to, you know, go to the Olympic team, you know, I have to keep pushing no matter what, so.